I couldn't do it. Either. I couldn't do the thing a second time, and that would have made my job a lot easier. So this one. I like I feel like I have to rock it into it. I don't have the distance to get to it otherwise. Or I could just do that, you know, whatever. Whatever, we made it. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. And a new enemy. That can still be destroyed. What are you doing? He blew himself up. It's tricky. How do you get up like that? Apparently. So they seem to just scan for you. And if they see you, they shoot. You can probably just knock them around like you could all the other enemies. No, I want the data. Okay, bullets go through laser. Oh, is that the Happy Computer Program? There we go. Get our save point, and now we're going outside the ship. Is there, like, another ship up here? Oh, we have to fight you. Okay, well, let me take care of these idiots first. You know what? I'll just be back to you in a minute. Oh, there's, like, a second ship. That's where I came in, isn't it? Yeah, because that's where that was. Oh, now I've got to do the... Okay, I did the hard one first. Okay, I took my hit, but that's fine. Please go away, sir. Gotcha! Ooh, and he dropped a power-up. Door's now open for you. Oh, I remember that one now. You used it, like, once. Oh, well, there's another ship up here. Oh, and that's where Duderson is. Not quite. So if I can't reach that from down here, then what purpose does it actually hold? Okay, so I think I can maybe get to it that way. I said I'd try one more time, but that looked possible. There we go. 
Oh. But I can't reach that, then. And that's it. Like... Since you can't do the uppercut in the air, if the double jump doesn't get to it, that's it for you. Oh, and the door opens now, so we can actually go in here. I'm not sure what I turned off. Oh, probably you. Save point up there. Okay, that's where I came in. Oh, so close. Hey, we made it. Now, can I have a save point? So if I, like, touch something, I don't have to do that again? Okay, so we can leave that way, but why would we? I guess it's just to give you an exit, since right now you don't have a way to backtrack. So I guess I just die. That's kind of butt. You have to do this one again just to get up there. I mean, once you've figured it out, it's not that big a deal. Just kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, a little bit of a pain in the butt that you gotta do all of this again every time. So, I have to hit both of those. So it doesn't really matter. I guess I may want to go for the top one first, because then after I hit the uh, middle one, I can just rocket punch out the left-hand side. I took a hit, but whatever. And that's a save point. And he's not very bright. Good job, me. I feel like... Because one thing that I really liked about the original... Robot Once games is that feeling of power that you get over the course of the game. And I don't feel like this game ever genuinely makes you feel powerful. Like, you get more powerful, for sure.
Um. There we go. Cool. So what do you do? Okay, next question. What do you do? I guess that one's just a way back. Gravity is much faster than... Gravity is faster than jumping. Okay, so I think that one's just a way back. Okay, hold up. Yeah, we did this, though, so we don't have to do that hot mess again. There's two of them down there. If not more. Three. Four. Five. Okay, I think they were, like, all down there. That's fine. Okay, with all of them gone... Was there anything else down here? Not really. Just the fire in the corner as a means for you to be able to defeat them. a hit, but that's fine. They give you a hit, so you have a little bit of leeway. Good job. Man! Oh, I got him, though. No, I didn't. He just fell off somehow? Okay, just gotta be quick about it. Oh, and that guy blows up. That gives you a way out, because this is right back at the beginning. Where I was wondering, like, what you're even supposed to do from there. Good job, me. I mean, I could take my time to destroy all of them. Okay, I'm not getting that. All right, save point. This looks like a boss arena. It is. I'm missing a whole power up. Save him at least. Save these two. Oh, I did already trigger both of them. Well, heck, now I'm down here.
Why can I not double jump out of a rocket punch? Okay, so we can save those two. Alright, Mike was off, but I figured out how to get up here. There's just an amount of dealing with the jumping off of these things where where you are in your spin does matter. If you need that extra smidge of height, you have to jump off when Robot is on the top of his spin. So... Okay, so I'm going to take a wild guess that there's not, in fact, a save point up here. kill him before he turned around. So, I don't want to have to try to get up here again. So I'm going to play it kind of careful. At least these guys have short range. Or short vision. So with the other one just behind him, I'll just wait for this guy to turn around, and then I'll go behind. Hey! Finished up Deathbot. Oh man, I gotta deal with these things. Okay, so that takes care of him. Oh, but... You know what I gotta do to get back here? Okay, this may be playing with fate just a little bit. Oh, I just realized there could be invisible guys up here. They're going to kill me without even me thinking about it. I'm just going to take a brief moment. Look. I'm going to pause. Make sure I don't see the little almost invisible puffs. You know, like that one. Dang it. Okay, got him. Don't have to worry about it. There's our prison break. That'll free him. I think there's a group of them down here. Aha! There was! That was farther in than I thought it was going to be. So that's the four of them here. I don't think there are any more... Oh, wow. It just made it right in here. There was one up there. I'm going to have to pass by it there again, though, to get out. So... Now it's just a matter of retreading the planet and grabbing all of these little idiots that are in cages. Once this one goes up, that should be 66, so there's nine more somewhere, and I would believe that. 
So off we go. And that should be 74 and 75. I have no idea where the star is. Presumably it's here. But I have no idea where it would be. Unless I feel like climbing back on top of this whole mess. Because maybe it'll be in, like, the top corners or something. Otherwise, I don't know. We saved all the dudes. It's going to be a pain in the butt to go out there just to check if it's in the top corners. The only thing we're missing is the star? We got all the derpoids. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting an invincible guy to at least stay invincible. Had no dialogue in extra mode. I just murdered probably an innocent guy. He wasn't doing anything hard. We don't even know he was the vic. He would even, we don't even know he was the villain. He's just a pile of goo sitting in the corner in this mode. And we just came in and said, I don't like that pile of goo. At least we got some Jimmy Jams out of it. But that is it. With Remix done... With Remix done, we have played through everything. I've shown you everything that there is. The only thing we haven't unlocked are some of the cheats. Which one of these? Visibility. That just gets rid of the Fog of War. Unlimited jumps. A uh, funny thing of note is I watched some of the speedruns of this, and they straight up save up for these cheats and enable them and get, like, invincibility and infinite cheats as soon as possible. I don't know what this does. I assume this just means everything you use kills everybody. That gets rid of Fog of War. Let's go ahead and get that one. Infinite jumps. With invincibility and infinite jumps, you can kind of just go wherever. So if you wanted to go back and play through again and just kind of bum around, those probably wouldn't be that bad. I feel like Robot Wants Ice Cream would be a pretty good for that one. You know what? Real quick. Um... Let's just take a quick look around. 
We'll see if that star was actually in the upper corners. I do see the indicator that I am, in fact, a scummy cheater. So that's where these guys are, so we got them. I like that I do the little front flip every time. No, because that's where the P was. So I just don't die. They will be happy to kill themselves on whatever it is that they're killing themselves on. So the only thing left I can think of is checking the far upper right corner up here. If the star isn't up here... I have no idea how you would even get up here, then I genuinely have no idea where the star is. It'd be nice if you could see a map. I feel like a map would be easy enough to make. Like, the entire game is tile-based. Though I do not know how, like, moddable the game is. Yes, yeah, so that's the door we can't go in. Until we get the, the power-up that opens that single door. As a, Okay, so final thoughts. As a finale, I actually think Robot Wants Justice is pretty good. It's large, it's expansive... It has a little bit of a focus all around. So instead of just on combat, like Robot Wants Ice Cream, there's an amount of combat. But also there's not as much of a focus. You can run around and be explorative. There's a lot to explore. I feel like especially the remix I enjoyed the most. What happens if I jump in lava? Oh, I still die in lava. I guess there's no code otherwise. You know what, that works. I just want it out anyway. See, I especially liked Remix. I felt like it was a lot easier to... I feel like it was... separated better in a way that was easier to understand. So at no point did I really feel like I was lost or I wasn't sure what was going on in some areas. It was still big enough and expansive enough, like, that it still felt like an, a proper extra mode. It didn't feel dumbed down at all. It felt large, but well designed. I feel like mechanically, it's pretty alright. Um, I mentioned before, the Robot Wants Justice and it's dealing with... Um, And it's dealing with um, knocking enemies around, knocking them into things instead of just killing them outright, is actually a fun mechanic. Though I feel like it potentially could have been executed better. And I say that because I f remember in the uh, normal mode finding several situations where I just did not know how to deal with an enemy. 
So I feel like designing the areas just a little bit more for actually knocking the enemies into things or making it easier to knock them into things would have help, or just giving them less health. So if you were unable to knock them into something and just wanted to, like, heckin' kill someone, it wouldn't be as bad. Oh, there's the star. Um, trying to think if there's much else. I feel like the controls could be refined just a little bit. Like, you have your dashes and things. I feel like you should be able to can to jump cancel out of that dash way earlier. Like, here, this is as early as you can do it. That's it. That's as early as you can get out of it. You can phase dash out of it very quickly, though, so I feel like you should be able to regular jump out of it as quickly as you phase dash out of it. Because that was more than a few times that I found I needed to... I tried to jump out of something when I was unable to. So I had to, like, adjust so I was using the phase dash last so I could jump out of that faster. I feel like little things like that would have helped out considerably. Um, something like that, maybe just changing the controls so, like, Seismic Slam you don't only do when you press it down. Like, make... C, your do a thing button. Down in C does that. Up in C does the uppercut. Which I don't think I have yet. No, I don't. Like, up in C does the uppercut. Let you do the uppercut whenever. Let you do it in the air. I feel like in extra mode, some of the jumps required were a little precise. Once I figured out that they wanted you to jump specifically off the top of your spin off these, that helped considerably. But I don't know if the jumps needed to be that precise in the first place. Alright, I don't have the thing, so I can't kill him anyway. So yeah, that's mostly it. I feel like the controls could have been refined just a little bit. Um, but otherwise, I actually thought this was a pretty good, pretty alright game all around, and a pretty alright Robot Once game. I feel like it does lose a little bit over the earlier games in the Robot Once series. And that may just be because he's trying to do so much more, when some of the charm of the original games probably up to... I don't know, maybe Ice Cream? I feel like that original quadrilogy of games, Ice Cream included, felt kind of self-contained in their own way. Wow, you have to use the uppercut. Okay. So anyway, this has been Robot Once Justice Remix. Ending Robot Once It All for the end. So with that, I say until next time, everyone. Hey, can I just like go up there and... I don't need any special abilities. I can just walk up and... Bam. And that's why you can't do the thing. Or that's why those can't go on the leaderboard. So with that, though, I will say until next time, everyone, this has been 
Robot wants it all.